You pray five times a day, right? Yes, I try And your to, prayers, yeah. okay, now pay attention. I want everyone to listen because I'm going to use some Arabic terms because you know Arabic and I'm going to translate for them. In your five daily, daily prayers, you say tashahud, right? Yeah. Okay, now guys, just I want you to understand. Tashahud is when they pray and then they make the confession, you know, the shahada. Now in your tashahud, Five times a day. Don't you say, As-salamu alayka. Finish it for me. What do you say? Ayyuhannabi. No, start from the part, brother, my brother humanity. Start from the part where you say, As-salamu alayka. Say it slowly. Okay, okay. Yeah. As-salamu alayka, ayyuhannabiyu, wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Okay, translate for everyone what is As-salamu alayka. It means, uh, it's, it's a greeting, it's like peace. Peace no. be upon somebody. No, no, it doesn't mean peace be upon somebody. You're speaking to someone directly. And what are you saying? Do I need to translate? I know what it means, but I want you to translate for everyone. The translation is that uh, peace and blessings, uh, may, may God bless and, and give his shower his blessings to the Prophet. No, Muhammad. that's not what you said. See, you, in peace front of me, you're twisting it. Assalamu alayka, you're speaking to him. You're saying peace be upon you. You're not saying Allah shower peace and blessing on the Prophet. Are you not speaking to your Prophet by saying, As-salamu alayka, peace be upon you, right? Yeah. Okay, so in your prayer, you say to Muhammad, As-salamu alayka, ahiyu nabihu, right? Yeah. Okay, translate now literally. Be honest and translate it literally. I want you to translate it. May God bless and reward the Prophet Muhammad. So you did it again. You're lying to me. If you lie to me again, I'm going to block you. Translate accurately. I can, of course, give the word by word translation because I, I'm not, I, I actually am okay. not Arab. I, All I, right, I, okay, I, then let me help you. I'm not an Arab too. I'm a Syrian. Praise Jesus. Assalamu alaikum means, in your prayer, you're saying, peace be upon you, O Prophet, right? Yeah. So can I ask you a question? Why are you talking to Muhammad who's dead and he's buried in Medina? Where are you now? You said UK, right? You're in UK. Is it? Hold on, before yeah, you go yeah. on, before you go on. You're in UK, right? Yes. And your prophet's grave is in Medina, right? Yeah. So in UK, when you pray five times a day, you speak to your prophet whose body is in the grave, Medina, from the UK, and you say, peace be upon you, O prophet, and the mercy of God and his blessing. Why are you talking to him in your prayer? Because this is the prayer is actually praying to God. It's not to the prophet. No, Muhammad. that's not. You're not and praying to God. You're talking to Muhammad. Yeah, the prayer, the, the, for you to pray Salah uh, correctly, you have to say this. You have to say Tashah. Why do I have even to though, talk to Muhammad when I'm praying to Allah? Because that means now I'm talking to Allah and Muhammad in the prayer. I'm talking to two, Allah and Muhammad. Why? That's that's what we, we do as a Muslim tradition. It's, it's not it's, uh, right? because uh, the Prophet Muhammad is one of the, is, is the, is the highest Prophet for us. Ashiko, the of the Ashiko. For us. listen to that's me. That's why Ashiko. we respect him. Ashiko, I don't care what your tradition says. You need to use your brain and be smart and see your tradition is making you a pagan because you're talking to a dead man in your prayer as you're talking to your God. You're talking to your God and a dead prophet. Why? Prayer is supposed to be talking to Allah and it's ibadah, it's worship. Why in that prayer you talk to Allah and Muhammad? Because it's part of the prayer to talk to the prophet. So your prophet, made it, your prophet made it part of your prayer to talk to a dead man and commit idolatry and you still respect your prophet for doing that to you? No, idolatry is forbidden in Islam. It's okay. totally forbidden. No, it's not. God you just no admit point. you're talking to a dead man in the prayer that you offer to God. That is idolatry if you don't know what idolatry is. Idolatry is worshipping idols. So is prayer worship? Is the is this uh, salah that you do worship? Isn't that ibadah? Yes, it is. War it is, okay. it is The prayer is not a exactly what it's like a remembrance of God. No, no, no. Like I didn't ask you that. Answer the question slowly. Isn't prayer... Your ibadah, your worship. Prayer is ibadah, yeah. Okay, ibadah prayer is worship. Not only prayer, but other things. For example, fasting and other things. Are I don't care ibadah. about other things. We're talking about prayer now. Don't change the subject. So I want everyone to hear what you said. Prayer is ibadah. Prayer is worship. So you said idolatry is to worship what? What is idolatry? To worship what? Uh, yeah, idols of God. Okay. So now I want everyone to hear what you said. The, the salah, the prayer, is worship, ibadah. In your prayer, you talk to Allah. That's your worship. But then you talk to Muhammad in your prayer, which is supposed to be worship. So you don't realize it. You're actually worshiping your prophet when you speak to him in your prayer because prayer is worship. So why are you worshiping your prophet in prayer? I mean, that's fine. Now, in your five daily prayers, if I'm praying and I say to someone who's not there physically, let's say I mention Huya, yeah. he's in another state. And I say my prayers, in my five daily prayers when I'm praying to Allah. And I say, oh, peace be upon you, William, and the mercy of Allah be upon you. Am I violating the prayer by mentioning William and speaking to him directly, even though he's not there? 
Uh, you see, if I say yes, you're going to bring up the... The uh, shahwat. You got salam it. To the prophet. Ah, you got it. See, people don't know that you know you're sharp. I just want people to know that when the Muslims pray five times a day, in their five daily prayers, they say tashahud, where they speak to Muhammad. They say, As-salamu alayka, ahiyu nabi. Peace be upon you, O message, uh, prophet. I'm sorry, it's nabi, not... They speak to Muhammad five times a day in their prayer. They speak to him directly saying, Peace be upon you, O prophet, and the mercies of Allah and blessings. So notice he laughed because if I were to say that to anyone else, if I was praying to God and I say to Rob Christian, who is not there physically, who is in another continent, and in my prayer I say, Peace be upon you, Rob Christian, and the mercy of God and his blessing, the Muslim will say, Hey, you committed shirk. But they do that. Five times a day, when they speak to Muhammad directly in their prayer, which is supposed to be directed to Allah. Why do you do that? Uh, it's, our Prophet asked us to do that. So, but I thought prophets would not ask you to commit shirk. This is shirk because you're talking to a person who's yeah, dead, who's no. not there in the prayers of, to Allah. But we, this, um, it, when we send our, pray, our, our prayers to uh, the Prophet. Yeah, the what, not to cut you off, by the way. Stop. stop. One real quickly. Uh, William, you got a troll here who's equating, equivocating on Islam, how it defines prayer with Christians. He says, are praying the rosary. So this guy's got to go because I'm, I'm arguing on Islamic terms. Nowhere in Christianity is invoking the Blessed Mother of the Saints considered worship. Yeah, so when we send the prayer to the Prophet, the angels take that prayer and give it to the Prophet. It's not, we're sending it directly to him. No, you're talking to him directly. No, that wasn't my point. You're talking to him directly. You're speaking to him. Why are you speaking to him when you're supposed to be speaking to Allah? Yeah, that, that's just the only part that we, we send blessings to the Prophet. So yeah, but you can say blessings without speaking to him. You can say, oh, Allah, send blessings on Muhammad. But you're not. You're speaking to him. You're saying, peace be upon you, O Prophet. Why are you speaking to him? Uh, no, I don't, I don't fully understand that. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I won't press that's you on it. Okay, I won't, I won't press you on because we're talking about monotheism. My problems with Islamic monotheism. Okay, when you pray five times a day, do you say, As-salamu alayka, ahiyu nabi? When we are in our prayer? The yes, 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 yes. Translate what I said. When you are praying your five daily prayers in your tashahud, uh -huh. you yes. say, As-salamu alayka, ahiyu nabi. Translate, please. A peace be upon you, O messenger. O prophet, nabi's prophet. Oh, prophet, yes. And so you're in America, let's say, and your prophet is in the grave in Medina. And in your prayer, you're mentioning him and speaking to him directly. Okay, so you, you're going to try to interpolate that to meaning to mean that we worship Muhammad. Is that what you're trying to do? Well, what is prayer if not worship? But we don't acknowledge that we worship Muhammad. Is it, but are correct? you praying when you say to Muhammad, peace be upon you, O prophet? It's exactly what it says, peace be upon you, O prophet. And that that's in your prayer, worship. right? That's part of your prayer? That's the words of your prayer? Yes, yes. And your prayer is ibadah worship? Yes. So you just admit that part of your prayer you directed to Muhammad, so part